everybody! How are you doing these days? Today, I'm going to share my recipe, yukpo. Yukpo is a Korean style beef jerky. I have been making my beef jerky for years and years. My beef jerky is very popular. Sometimes I just give as a gift to the people that I love. Whenever they taste my yukpo, and they keep talking about months and months. Today, I share my secret recipe. Actually, easy, easy. So, let's start. I'm going to use three pounds beef. Marinade first. Soy sauce, jinganjang, half cup. And sugar, quarter cup. One tablespoon honey. One teaspoon ground black pepper. And then the liquid smoke. You can find this any grocery, large grocery store. It gives a really good flavor. Big difference. So two teaspoons. This liquid smoke, you need to really measure exactly two teaspoons. Oh, I like to make it more delicious. Three teaspoons, oh my, it smells really too, too much. So for this amount, two teaspoons are perfect. Red pepper flakes. When you go to pizza place, they serve this. This is very spicy. I use two tablespoons, but it's up to you. If you want to make it more spicy and three tablespoons, if you like non-spicy, just skip it. Of course, I love spicy food, so I just add two tablespoons. And this is a really toasted, nutty toasted sesame seeds, two tablespoons. It's a home toasted sesame seeds. Best. And actually, real Korean cuisine, we don't use liquid smoke. You know, how can? <laughs> how can? No liquid smoke. But these days, a lot of Korean viewers are watching my video, so you guys can find this kind of liquid smoke and then you make this. You'll be surprised at how delicious it is. And now, we can't skip this, guys. Garlic. Nine cloves garlic. Okay, let's add here. Then mix. You see? Until this sugar is well dissolved. Then I'll bring my beef. Look at this. This is around a little more than three pounds. Around one hour, I just kept in the freezer so that I can cut more nicely. So let's cut this. Now, just I'll just cut it in half. So each piece, I like to make the five inch long. See? We need to cut it this at angle, like this. I'm using beef flank steak, but you guys can use any, any cuts of beef that doesn't have a, a lot of fat. So this size is around five inch long and around two inch, two inch wide. So one chunk is done, so new one. This is all three pounds. I just cut it, slice this. Wow, smells garlicky and smoke smell. So really good. Each slice should be coated in this marinade. Gently, carefully. It has to be salty, not too salty or not too bland. If you use less soy sauce, it's not tasty. One time it happened to me, and I wanted to make a very healthy version, so I really cut down the soy sauce amount. Oh, it doesn't taste good, so even nobody wants to eat. So I'm going to marinate at least 30 minutes in the refrigerator. Action! 
<laughs> this is my dehydrator, electric dehydrator. In 1990s, I came to America for the first time with my family. And one day I watched TV and there is a pitch man, some advertisement, a commercial program was showing how to make a beef jerky using this machine. So I was fascinated. I had never thought about making beef jerky. I don't know how long does it take, two, three days. It has to be really good weather. The biggest concern is the flies. What if flies are landing while I'm drying this, you know, the, my yukpo? But once I saw this guy, you know, making some kind of a commercial program, and then, wow, I should try. My heart was beating when I bought this because I was expecting that, oh, eventually I can make a yukpo, beef jerky. Very simple. Like this. I use five baskets. Set to jerky meats or fish setting, 160 Fahrenheit. It usually takes eight hours. Four hours later, I will come back again, and then I just turn over each piece of meat so that all the both sides meat is well, well, nicely dried. And also I'm going to switch this basket because the highest basket and the lowest basket, heat and wind are different. I usually circulate these baskets. Okay, four hours passed. I never opened this. Let's see. Let me open. Wow. See, this is nicely. It looks really awesome, but I need to all the flip them over. You see? Okay, then next basket. This is a bottom layer and bottom layer goes on top. Okay, let's do this. It should be done in four more hours. Okay, see you soon. I am back. <laughs> I changed my clothes. Four hours a long time. During the four hours, I just went out and you know, I went to the market and come back and I, uh, just even I took a little nap. It's time to harvest. So nicely, wow, good. My last investigation is that I have to check everything's all well dried. Let's see, wow, look at that. This one is a little thick, so I'm going to dry a little longer. So I'll just put it here. Last one, last tray. I'm going to try longer. Look at this. With three pounds of beef, I made a huge amount. You can eat this for a long time. As I told you, also this is a really good gift. Beautiful eh? gift. Rice syrup. I like to garnish on top. And this pine nuts, jujube. Like this, and roll it up. Use. 
If you make this kind of gift, everybody will love it. See? Like this. <laughs> like this. I like to always tear this way. See? This is really good side dish for beer. So when you have a beer party with friends, it's perfect. And also good gift idea. Little salty and sweet. And we added some uh, red pepper flakes, so spicy and kind of nutty and beefy, of course. Today, we made yukpo, Korean-style beef jerky. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time.